Hello, I'm Simon. Welcome back to the workshop. Now today I'm going to take you through what I consider to be a design flaw in Axminster's entry-level cabinet saw. And then we'll look at how we fix it. Let's get tinkering. So this is a problem that I have mentioned before in my review of this saw. And that is this little lever here. This lever is used for removing the crown guard or for tightening and adjusting the height of the crown guard. Now it does have a bit of a problem because it sticks out quite a way and that means that if you wanted to cut um, a small piece of wood like this then you can't do it because the handle on this gets in the way. Now an obvious thing you might think would be to take this off and to turn it round. Well, herein lies a problem. Let me just take this off. This here is not symmetrical, and therefore you can't just flip it round and put the lever on the other side. Then you can see that that's where it wants to be, but that's where it sits. So, so this little groove here is in the wrong place if you want to use it in the opposite orientation. Now it's perhaps a little easier to see what's going on if I show you it in its normal orientation there. This little groove here lines up with this gap here, but if we turn it round in this direction it no longer lines up. So our plan is to extend this thinner section here out here so it can be used in either orientation and that will fix this problem. Frankly it's something that could have been done when this part which is clearly custom part was manufactured. I've used sharpie to blue the surface so that I can then scratch into it whereabouts I need to extend the little groove on this part. Let me just show you what's going on here. I have my parting tool. You can see here's the mark that I need to cut down to. I've got this set up so it's at the right position. I've locked the carriage so it can't move sideways. It can only move in and out. And I'm going to cut in until I get to this edge here. And then I'm going to move it along and then cut in again. Now you remember it originally fitted this way and now it fits that way as well. Now I started the day thinking that I would have to manufacture a new piece to fit and that it wouldn't be quite so simple a modification just to make that groove a little bit wider. Why Axminster didn't you just make it a little bit wider so it could be used on both sides? I really don't know. It's something that I've wanted to do for, well, ever since I had the saw really. And I've been putting it off doing on the lathe because I thought I'd need to manufacture it. And we've got this flat surface here, along with the groove, along with a head and a thread. That's quite a lot to do on a lathe when you're a complete novice but just extending that groove was really very very simple. 
I'm so pleased. It really is going to transform the use of this saw on those really small pieces of wood where the lever gets in the way. So if you've got a lathe or you know someone that's got a lathe and you've got one of these saws, this is a really simple job to do. Only takes a few seconds as you saw and you can then use the bolt on the left and right hand sides. Well, how about that? Who would have thought that would have been so easy? And given that it is so easy, why on earth didn't Axminster make those little bolts that way so they could be used on either side? Seems like a huge oversight and just a little bit of extra design fault would have made the tool so much easier to use. That's one of the few problems I've ever really experienced with this table saw now fixed all thanks to having a little engineering lathe. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, then please leave a thumbs up. And if you'd love to see more videos like this, then please subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.